In this video, I will demonstrate how to configure an inbound HTTPS inspection. For this demo, we have this simple network topology. A checkpoint gateway protecting an internal web server. The internal server is running an Apache web server and listening on port 443 with a trusted and valid certificate. Our task is to make the website that is running on this server accessible from the internet and make sure it's protected from external attacks. The web server has a private IP address and a static native public IP address on the internet router. The router holds the public IP address and is static NAT to the external private IP of the gateway. The gateway will translate the destination IP address to the internal IP address of the web server. As the connection from the user's browser to the server will be encrypted, the gateway will have to decrypt the packets, inspect the payload, encrypt the traffic again, and send it to the web server. So, let's start by enabling HTTPS inspection on the gateway. You will have to create a certificate for the gateway. If you are not planning to inspect outbound traffic, this certificate has no meaning. I will create two hosts. The first host is the web server with an internal IP address. The second host is the external, NAT, private IP address on the gateway. Now that I have the two hosts, we are ready to create an access rule, NAT rule, and HTTPS inspection rule. I will start with the network access rule. I will create a rule that permits traffic from all internet to the web external IP address that is associated with the external interface of the gateway. The service will be HTTPS. On the NAT rules, I will create a rule with the original source and destination as we have on the network access rule. The translated destination should be the web internal IP address. The last rule we will need to configure is the HTTPS inspection. There is a default outbound HTTPS inspection rule that I will disable as we only want to activate inbound HTTPS inspection. I will add a new rule. The source and destination should be the same as we have on the network access rule. For the certificate, I will need to import the web server, SSL certificate, and its private key. The password protected file certificate that is needed has to have a P12 extension. My file has a PFX extension, so I will just need to change the extension name to P12 and I will be able to import the file. After policy installation, I will be able to access the web server from the internet. The logs show the traffic I generated, but they don't show that the HTTPS engine was active. The reason for that is, that we have not activated any underlying threat prevention protection on the gateway. I will activate the IPS blade, and re-access the web server.
This time, we can see in the logs that HTTPS inspection is active. For any questions, please leave your comments on the post. Thank you for watching.